Hey yo, my planet coaster friends, Johnny Five Alive here, and I am joined with Synchros. Hey yo, and welcome back to another episode of Park Spotlight. Today we're probably going to be looking at the world's most detailed park that we have ever seen on the channel. So stay tuned and let's check it out. All right, welcome back everybody. If you guys are new, be sure to smash that subscribe button. If you end up enjoying the video, leave a like. Come join us on Discord and get your creations seen by thousands of people. And if you enjoy the show and everything that we do here, please check out the Patreon page as you can support it further there. And with that out of the way, let's dive into today's creation, which is Kaleidroscope Piers, created by Fisherman RCT, one of our Discord legend builders. And here they say, hello, Johnny5. Kaleidroscope Piers has been in the works for over two years and the project has been uh, a true labor of love. The park is home to 21 coasters, four dark rides and a numerous rides and attractions, both inside the park and in the town of the Planko Beach across the street. Be warned at 80, 186,000 parts, the park really pushes Planet Coaster game to its limits. Yeah, it does. Uh, the file can take anywhere from 15 to a half an hour to open, depending on the computer. Frame rates between 5 to 10 FPS are commonly <laughs> reported. The user media and music files are critical to the park functioning properly, and I use many toolkit items. All of these have credited to the park workshop description, along with additional instructions for operating the park. Links to all the user medias uh, are in the workshop description. I hope you consider it for Spotlight, despite the enormous size. I hope you enjoy it as exploring it as much as i did creating it derek aka fisherman rct boom all right let's just jump on into it because we're gonna have to do things differently today because i know nobody wants to ride these coasters at freaking 5 fps so let's jump in and talk about it all right here we are at the world's laggiest park <laughs> i think i yep. think candyland ran better than this it's insane we're on pause yeah. mode right now, and I'm getting 8 FPS on probably the highest end rig you could buy other than having an RTX 2080 with a 1080 Ti. So what what more could I do to make my computer better? <laughs> yeah, no, not much. I'm sure your little processor there is like... <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah. So there, there's yeah, there's there's nothing you can do. So what we are going to do is you can see here, majority of the park, the 21 coasters and dark rides are generally located on the actual pier itself. And the park looks amazing. And then we have this village slash parking lot area back here. So what we're going to do is actually look at this stuff as quickly as we can without, uh, you know, getting people nauseous and so it looks like what is this a driving range you kind of looks like that yeah so we have a driving range i mean these are beautiful we've talked about how i feel about parking lots and stuff and cities on the outskirts of your park it really detracts what you should have done rct is uploaded two versions one with just the pier and one with the city right because if we just opened up the pier we might have actually a playable park to deal with and that's what we're going to be doing today we're going to delete this all of it and hopefully not crash the computer because it takes freaking an hour to load yeah um, it, it was rough even loading this i was sitting here i'm like are you serious still <laughs> yeah i mean this spa alone is like thousands of pieces and like yeah there's so many boxes and things inside it's insane so and it is indeed beautiful but it is yeah but why right yeah a beautiful go-kart track <laughs> Look at the spot. So apparently there are rides and dark rides on the outside though thing, so wait, what? Possibly. Yeah, look at the chilling. Oh yeah, there is a bumper boats ride, isn't there? No, that's just fake. Oh. Oh, I thought those are okay. <laughs> oh, oh boy. And a golf course? A mini golf? I, I, I legitimately love that. That brings me right back to roller coaster tycoon, so <laughs> And I would love to get in here and take a better look at it all, but I just, it's so hard to, I can't barely move my camera. It's so, yeah, easy. This, I mean, this you is janky for the viewers too. So, yeah, so much parking lot and, uh, and it's beautiful. And I totally get the style, but when you're comparing it or not comparing it, but when you're coupling it with a massive theme park, it makes the actual theme park portion of it just run like crap. Shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, what, what, what's in this giant dome? I'm assuming this is one of the dark rides, but you know what? Okay, good. There's nothing in there. Yeah, these buildings are great, though. Like, so much detail yeah, on the back sides. But they look like something you would see, like, on a main street in front of a theme park. There might be. Look at that escape. Look at that. That is amazing. Escape room. Keep out death inside. Okay. So, yeah, this is insane. 
it's it's like sim city detailed this is something you would yeah, see in like city skylines for but sure yep. extra, extra detailed um which is kind of insane city skylines can, is really optimized it's how much stuff that they get in that game they they, they need the, the creators of city skylines need to develop a theme park game yeah because they're they're like their optimization on city skylines is beast like I, i'm and just love mods what yeah <laughs> so there's a look at the exterior we're gonna look at all this in a second now uh i've seen it in the comments bugle keeps coming at me i'm calling you out you say drop shadows in water and it makes a huge difference so we're getting eight fps on my machine right now let's well and he says that it doesn't look much different let's take the shadows off let's take the water quality to low hit apply game looks like dog shit. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm getting nine FPS. I got Dude, you got a whole FPS from that. No, it's back to eight, nine. <laughs> so I get one a half. I get zero to one FPS from that. And look at the difference. And he keeps saying it to me. You know, look, just it makes such a difference on my rig. The shadows literally don't make a difference. Like no, unfortunately with Platico, so there's a threshold, and once you pass it, it doesn't matter what you're running the game at. It just sucks. Yeah, it's 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 just the the amount of memory that the engine can handle. The shadows is like literally doesn't put any stress on my GPU at all. So I mean, now I'm getting seven FPS. It it's still it in nine. Yeah, so it doesn't make a difference. And for the quality, this looks like poop. This looks like an N64 game. <laughs> <laughs> Like we're, we're, it does it's, actually. It, 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 so I'm for, so for, much. for that one FPS. Hey, hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of RCT Two. <laughs> I guess exactly. For the difference here, watch. Go for it and apply. Look at that. Back to eight FPS. Literally, it's one FPS difference. Do you think it's worth the one frame? One no, frame. Absolutely not. So it doesn't. Yeah, we're not. We're not having this discussion ever again. And if yeah, you. Uh, there's no convincing me that you can make this better. I worked on Candyland for Pete's sakes. I definitely tried going on low graphics to save frames and it did not make a difference. With that said, we're killing this discussion. We're taking it out back and we're shooting it. No more talks about lowering my graphics because it does not make a difference and the video quality suffers tremendously. So with that said, I'm gonna cut the video now and spend the next freaking 20 minutes deleting all this stuff. And hopefully we're gonna get a park experience worthy of featuring, I mean, a frame rate. This is obviously all worthy of featuring, but uh, you know. Something to enjoy for everybody. Yeah, not, not, cause I Nobody noticed- wants to ride a that, coaster That at last three park FPS. that we featured was amazing. One with like 21 miles of coaster or whatever. Oh, what was it called? Uh, Kestrel Park. The Kestrel yeah. Park, everybody loved it, but there were so many comments of people saying, I, I just can't watch it, it's making me nauseous. And it's it's a shame because people really love the coasters, uh, which by the way, he did make 60 FPS cheat engine videos on his channel. And if you do that guys, leave a comment or message me on Discord and send me those videos so we could just put them in right and instead of me riding the coaster we'll just watch the video right i make it so much better yeah so i mean i just don't have 21 hours to record all of your stuff in cheat engine i'm sorry <laughs> and with the power of video editing we are back and this park is a farmer shell of itself <laughs> uh can you see oh, the screen, screen share oh i'm not <clears throat> screen sharing <clears throat> There you go. So beautiful. It, uh, it's kind of it's kind of sad. I have to apologize to Fisherman RCT. I mean, you guys saw we gave you a sneak peek of all of this stuff, right? But even after removing everything, I, I even I even reloaded the entire park. We had 250 megabytes of custom images, and I bet you most of that was just like the shops and things. You know, I don't think a, a custom image is gonna affect the, the the ride experience of most of these coasters. There might be like a a little sign out front or something but even still uh if we can't appreciate the park as is how can we appreciate the signs you know it's like i don't think a sign's gonna really change the experience all that much it's it's a tough situation that we're put in with this park here today and uh we've tried lowering the graphics yet again why are those freaking splashes back i thought i deleted those synchros yeah i thought you did too oh man these things the man. a thousand splashes those are a lot of effects 
Okay. That's a huge amount of effects. That's more than like freaking anything that I've seen. <laughs> yeah. So what we've actually think that's happening here, because we've seen parks this size, if not bigger, run beautifully. We've even tried to delete some of the supports underneath the pier. Did that not get saved? Uh... Yeah. I had to reload the park. No, you did it on this one, on the right one. Yeah, there yeah. you go. Um, but yeah, as you can see, some of these piers, if I grab one of these piers, 8,000 objects nearly, or 7,000 objects, just for this pier. That's all custom supports. Um, this pier here, 13,000 objects. And there's a thing in there, okay. Then all the buildings on top, and then all the coasters have custom supports, you know, built piece by piece. A lot of them do, yeah. I was checking that out, and I was like, okay. Yeah. So it's kind of an unfortunate event where need for detail and making it awesome while building sort of took it away from everything. <laughs> it, it really comes down, we've had this discussion before, is that... There's a certain level of expertise required in order to make a park amazing, like huge with 20 coasters, but also have it run and be functional. And I think the way uh, Fisherman RCT builds things, he builds it the way he wants it to be realistic and to scale and every single detail at the cost of the frame rate. In terms of screenshots, it makes for the most beautiful park ever. Now, again, we're, I'm gonna put this out there to all the legends and masters and the people who make these ginormous parks if you do i've tried i try to look for a uh, fisherman's steam page to see if he had a link to youtube with all the videos and i didn't see anything so if you guys make 60 fps cheat engine videos for each of your coasters you can link those to me i'll just download the video put it straight into the editing and post and then we can ride all the coasters at 60 fps using cheat engine but for me to feasibly do cheat engine on all these coasters it would it would literally take me like 10 20 hours and I just can't do that for each of these. It's just, uh, it's, it, it's not feasible. So, uh, but if you send me the videos and I have to just edit them in, that is doable, right? And we can also yeah, just watch the videos. Easy. Yeah, and then the, the walking around part, uh, it's not so bad on pause mode, right? And if I just go slowly and we check things out, it's not so bad. And you know what? It is noticeably better now that we've gotten rid of it's noticeably better. It's not a yeah. slideshow. So yeah, that's that's that, guys. I uh, just want to put that out there. We're going to just go on in here and explore around a little bit, take a look at some of these details, the grand carousel. I mean, this is absolutely stunning work. It really is. There's so much detail gone into these. And uh, I think another thing that contributes here is the uh, theme maker toolkit items. A lot of those theme taker maker toolkits, they're 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 not made by people who are game designers, so they don't know how to optimize LODs. I don't even think there is an option for LODs. So if you zoom out, it's still rendering it at like the same amount of polygons it was yeah. when it you were zoomed in. So I don't think you know you can actually. I I, I don't know. I haven't actually tried theme maker toolkit myself, but I did use the 3D model for games, and every single model that we did, we had to create between three to five levels of detail for. So when your camera gets a certain distance away, it drops the model out for a cheaper one. And uh, I don't think Theme Paker Toolkit allows that. So some people might just make like a, a billion gone, billy, billion polygon Mario and just plop it down. And that might actually take more CPU power, more GPU power than a thousand trees. Well, yeah, and I seen a couple options of this actually when TMTK was first kind of done. Somebody made a coffee mug with a picture on the side of it. And they made a like cafe sort of like plaza area and all the tables had coffee mugs on it. And the person who was looking at it was getting like five FPS because <laughs> yes. coffee mugs. Yeah. So optimized coffee mugs. And these are theme maker toolkit items. and. You know, yeah. looking at this tiny little object here, look at all the, look at the amount of polygons are on that. There's, yeah, it doesn't need to be this many polygons. That could have literally been like a triangle, and it would have, yeah, been just yeah, as good. For sure. And you know, it's beautiful. And like, props to the person who made that for making it look so nice. But for a game like this, when you're plopping it down in a park of this size, you want to be able to, you should be able to put like a hundred or two hundred of these in there. Yeah. And it's just as many polygons part. as the actual mascot, and it's a toy. Mm. So anyways, that's enough of that. Let's ride some coasters. We're going on the Rip Curl today, the Star Loop Power Up. Here's a look at all the results if you want to see them, and let's give it a go.
That's a cool ride. I like those. You still muted? We lost yep. some crust. I'm totally <laughs> muted. <laughs> wow, this boarding station is a f -f -f phenomenal. Um, I mean, Fisherman R RCT, every, everything we've ever featured from him in the past has been uh, phenomenal quality. And we haven't seen something from him in such a long time because this is what he worked on. So we've been fiddling around with this park for the last two hours now, just trying to get it somewhat presentable to you guys. And I thought, you know what? Uh, it's not perfect. And it sucks that I had to rip out some of the stuff and, you know, modify it a little bit. But I, I can't just not feature this, you know? It's Fisherman, it's the it's what he has to show for, you know, being gone for the last two years. He's been literally working on this. So here we got the Zephyr, it's a wooden coaster. Here's a look at all the stats. But yeah, it's great to see something from Fisherman again. So in the next yes. one, Fisherman, big request from you. Let's see a blueprint, let's see something small. Let's see a mini park. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Please. <laughs> It's a solid wooden coaster, I love it. Yeah, that was a ton of fun. So I guess, uh, I don't know, I'm trying to, I'm gonna try not to let this uh, overtake the entire video, but as far as like things of optimization goes, yeah. so you have like this awesome wooden roller coaster, and if you look on the edge of the side railings of that wooden roller coaster, he's got lights down both sides uh, of the entire track. I don't think that makes that much of a difference though. But and that's a lot of pieces. It is. And when you're in a park this size, don't get me wrong, I love it. I love it. And on a car by itself, great. But when you're, I don't know, it's just, it's just being a little bit more, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? But uh, efficient, efficient, I guess. Yeah, efficiency. And that looks so freaking great at nighttime. I don't, I don't think it'll make that much a difference. Like you're really like trying to find a needle in a haystack at this point. Maybe, but I think the mindset itself. I, I do know for a fact. If you guys are looking for optimization, the wooden coasters themselves are not optimized well. These, each one of these pieces are six polygons, and then there's two of them for each set. And so this, this, the amount of polygons in this, uh, you can't drop that. You can't drop six polygons to anything lower unless you do a plane. And they, I don't, I don't think the uh, Frontier has actually dropped them to planes. Yeah, the most you could do is drop it to one polygon where it's just, yeah. But my point is I did a uh, quadruple dueling wooden coaster, a singular blueprint, and I was getting like 20 FPS. This was like a year or two ago, but uh, it, it just goes to show someone did four wooden coasters. Oh, I remember and, that one. And uh, uh, it dropped like I lost 40 frames because of the wooden coaster. So it is something to think about if you're doing like a mega mega park. Try to avoid the wooden coaster because <laughs> it they do chew yeah, up a lot. Those supports are yeah they do. Well, they're probably just as demanding as doing custom supports really. More yeah for sure more. So we have another coaster here. I love the ambience of the nighttime by the way. Yeah this is great. It's got that Leap nice like uh, kind of classic feel to it. 
That's the Hop the Gaps wooden coaster. Wooden oh, side sweet. friction. It's a nice chill one. Nice chill experience. Let's give it a go. Oh, I love that. Great shot. Super chill. Mm-hmm. I enjoyed that. I really love the nighttime <clears throat> lighting. Holy moly, look at that. That's like the perfect roller coaster to take your Valentine's Day date on. It's great. <laughs> right? Yeah. Up to the pier at your Spooky local shack. Pier. That must be is that cut? I love oh wow. That. that is custom and there it's tripled. That oh looks boy. Amazing. That's the uh exit. Okay. Oh, I thought maybe we could walk through this. That'd be cool. I, I, I might every, be. I, every pier's oh, got to no. have a rock and hot. Oh, cool. Okay. Spooky shack. Yeah. Ghost train hoax. Your ride ex exceeds the G-force limits. What? One thing to note, these might be screens and we might be missing them now. Um, that is true. It's a bit unfortunate. You know what? I, I, I'm liking it either way. It, yeah. It looks like something you'd see at like an actual fun house on like a carnival or something. That red room really messed with my eyes. I, I hated that, honestly. I was going through <laughs> that. I was like, ah. Yeah, I've messed my brain. I think a lot of these would be great to be broken up into ride spotlights, coaster spotlights, you know? I like this a lot. Yeah, it's super this fun. Is fun. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Just a very wholesome carnival ride, you know? <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, look at this! I, oh, this Crooked is great. room. Yes. It's actually difficult to make crooked stuff in this game because of the limits of the grid. 
Yeah. Ooh. Beautiful. I love the lighting. That was, that was amazing. I thoroughly enjoyed that. Absolutely. Yeah. I, I almost really like this park at night even more. It's just... Yeah. Uh, you know, I... I Look at this. It's, ins it's insane. It's so stunning. I honestly think these parks are more of like a nighttime thing, to be honest. You're right. They are great to go. Yeah. Yeah. The, it's, it, the, yeah it's like great. every time I see them in movies and stuff, people are always at them at every time. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Like these pier parks that are on a dock, it's always night. Because, yeah, it is all about the lighting and yeah. the... It's very... <laughs> festive yeah wow this place looks stunning this is incredible wow okay oh we have a bobsled another ex ride that exceeds the g-force limits let's go You can see how beautifully lit it is when you come back in here. I yeah, think the uh, the color, <laughs> but it's it's really well done. I think the colors yeah. of it very vintage and it creates such a nice ambience. Uh, theme maker toolkit, uh, ceiling fans and stuff. It looks great. Is that TM TK stuff? I think it so. Must be. Yeah. yeah. It has to be. Because normally people use like the helicopter plates. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this is stunning at night. Really love it. Okay. We're back to the <laughs> deleted area. We can head yeah, on back. Uh, yep. How many coasters have we ridden? I don't know, but it said 21. It doesn't feel like there's 21, does there? Uh, yeah, no, it really doesn't. I feel like there's like 10. <laughs> Okay, so the Mousetrap Factory we are going to skip because no point... I, I've, I've featured this as a... Oh, you have, and, yeah. And, and he did say, and it was like two years ago that I featured this, he's like, oh, I'm working on up here. And you'll see this in the future at some point. And here we are, fast forward. Time travel. So yeah, if you use the search engine on the channel and you type in Mousetrap, Mousetrap Factory, you know what, I'll just do it right now and I can tell you guys the exact episode number. But I, I always put the proper tags in. Even if you typed in his name, you would get all his videos. So yeah, it pops up. Ride Spotlight episode 40, two years ago. So yeah. Wow. If you want to look that up and watch the whole video, you'll get it at 60 FPS, right? So that will that that would be way more okay, enjoyable. So this is this creator, beautiful. He's the one that did that Expedition Everest, right? No, that was J.R. Tinman. Oh, that's who I'm thinking of. And, that, okay. and, that's, and that's Mountain Rescue. Mountain um, Rescue. And that, that's another thing in terms of optimization and stuff. If you feel like your park is, you know, not going to run on anyone's computer, including mine, feel free to submit as many blueprints as you want. I will put, I will bundle them all up, right? Well, we won't get to see it in the, the setting of the park, but we get to ride them all over several coaster spotlight bundles. So that's always an option for you guys. Yeah. All right. So we got a cascade water coaster that looks absolutely stunning. Let's give this a ride. I know I've been whining about the FPS a little bit, but seeing all this together like this, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I love it. It's truly beautiful. It really is.
more of a love boat ride experience than it was a coaster, but I quite like it. And you were saying that it's a perfect thing to bring your date on Valentine's or something, and there's the perfect ride right there. I think it could have used a little bit more of that pinkish lighting throughout, especially in those uh, dark tunnels, but I thoroughly enjoyed that. Oh, we're not done yet. Final drop. The exterior is just mind blowing. Yeah, it's beautiful. Holy good googly moogly. Oh. Wanna be my Valentine, Johnny? Sure. Thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the colors on this. I like that a lot. I kind of like that teal kind of blue thing happening with it. That's great. Yeah, the the, the blend between it's yeah. the, the coaster colors, but then the lights on the coaster colors, they blend. Yeah. So like the, the, the what we see so here you is... You have a yellow on the coaster, and then you have blue shining off of it yeah so the the yellow actually absorbs the blue colors and becomes teal right it's that's actually quite phenomenal so what you get is a nice soft gradient and you have some custom uh serpents that's literally called the serpent let's go on in but everything is such a beautiful layout too entrances where they should be not hard to find very welcoming uh you're drawn just the you're last drawn part in. we came out of this is great <laughs> it's a, but here, <laughs> to touch on that quickly and uh, you know it's 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 unfortunate that we complain about the fps and we're trying to do our best to resolve the issue but it's like we want to bring you the best quality parks but sometimes that comes with the consequence of bad fps but then when we want to bring you a smooth running park to switch it up sometimes it comes with the 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 fact that the person doesn't build a whole lot and what you get is lower quality coasters so we try to switch it up right it's very rare that you get the sweet spot Spot, where it's a high quality creation like this but also runs really nicely so what we're gonna you're gonna see throughout the, the the history of the show and even this weekend is parks that run great from lower builders and then parks that run bad from higher end builders and again it's really hard to find that sweet spot where you get both right yeah if we find them we'll feature them but it's usually one extreme or the other so and of course we're doing that's our best. the game's fault it's not the builders right. at the end of the day the builders should be able to build stuff like this because the game is yes big enough to be able to accommodate it but it just doesn't run good enough exactly. so it's just yeah is what it is we've been dealing with it for three years now it's been yep. an ongoing conversation so yep let's go yep Classic corkscrew. Short and sweet, I love it. So it looks like we've um, officially ventured over one of the three piers. Oh, we I didn't see this. Oh, disco dome. Yeah. What's a disco dome? I read that wrong the first time, but yeah, disco dome. Oh, it's a flat ride. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Your theming is impeccable, fisherman. Okay, so we're only on the first of three piers. Yeah. Okay, that's insane. So we got on that last coast, I'm like, hey, a whole nother pier full of roller coasters. Do we go on this And there's a RMC? whole nother one after that. No, we have not. Kid Googly Moogly. Yeah, there's two. There's one in here. There's... <laughs> yeah, because we did go on five or six, and that this was just, just adding one pier. up really quick, yeah. Yeah, and we're already a half an hour, so this is going to be one of those jam-packed episodes. And honestly, yeah. that the amount of work that we spent removing things and... It, it's made the difference to, I mean, when For I sure. first opened up the park, I was getting like one FPS and it slowly creeped yeah. back up. Uh, Planko has a memory issue where it takes like 10 minutes before it actually starts running. 
Yeah, this this is a lot more stable than when we first started. Yeah, the rides are actually somewhat like they're 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 good enough that we can appreciate them. Exactly. So we have a, a hybrid coaster here. Here's a look at all the stats, everyone, and let's jump right on it. Is wicked. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty sweet. You know what I'm thinking? It'd be a shame to do it, but I want to. I want to do a small test here. If I get uh, rid of the arm seat and the wooden, hey, got a frame or two. What about the uh, the bobsled and the zephyr? Nah, that looks good. We don't want to like ruin the the the, the line of sight ruin either. Ruin it all, FPS. <laughs> But if we can get a yeah, frame no. here or there on the stuff that we're not going to be looking at anymore, it's probably yeah, sure. worth it. <laughs> a log ride. Really trying our best here. The Pirate's Plunge. Oh, okay. That's not the cue. Here we go. Pirate's Plunge. There Ooh. we go. Entrance. Nice end. These office. cues are phenomenal. Yeah. The theming on this is amazing. It's top, top quality. Yeah. This is a swinging ship. Oh no, it's a log flume. Okay. I'll switch the camera here too. Yeah, that pop up. Yeah, that's the Yeah, it's like they changed the log flume you pay for uh, first person. No, I, I don't think so. so. I don't remember it being so low as it is now. That's unfortunate. <laughs> We won't look over there anymore. There we go, let's look over here. Forward. I think what's so impressive about this log flume is it's a really good experience front to back without utilizing terrain because it's literally on a pier. Yeah. Like I, I haven't seen actually I haven't seen yeah. a log flume that's this brilliant that's not like 
it's a blueprint essentially, right? But the terrain was built kind of around it, which, yeah, it was. It's a really solid experience for something that was. Basically I didn't even notice it. that I was like in a terrainless setting. Right, exactly on yeah. a pier. Yeah, it just brought you into a whole new world. Yeah, and that's the signs of a legend builder right there. Yeah, oh my god, this well is probably a queue in here. What is in here? Oh, it's just crossing over to the other side. Just Wait to pass a second. through, but still freaking cool. Oh, ghost pirates. Uh oh. So yeah, these entrances yeah, are uh, top, top notch. Wow. Sweet. We got a spinning coaster. Oh, wait. We should probably give this one a go. Interactive shooting ride. Oh, oh. crap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Got this. Don't use Jeet Engine this time. I might have to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Golly. See, I, I, I always try to get those perfect scores, but this time around, I want to try something different. I want to see what's actually shootable, right? Okay. Because... Oh, jeez, the frame rate. Like, can I shoot the crocodile? Can I shoot the pirates? Because some of these... Oh, my God. I wouldn't even be able to hit these if oh, I wanted to. Bad, yeah. I think it's just the targets. It's combo broken, yeah. yeah. Oh, but but I, I think it's fun to set some of the pirates and stuff. Skeletons and spooky things. Can I shoot a bat? I like uh, this all, all on its own as a blueprint. I hope, hopefully, some of these rides and creations you've uploaded to the workshop, because this, this, the ambience of this, the purple and teal, it oh, this is, is amazing. It's really nice. It, it, it reminds me of um, there's this like mini golf thing near my place at uh, Canada's Wonderland, and there's like an underwater sea golfing place. Have you ever been there? You're in. You live near me. Canada's uh, Wonderland? They got mini golf and like. Canada's Wonderland is in Toronto, isn't it? Not, not Wonderland. What am I thinking of? Uh, maybe it's not called. No. It's, it's up in like Chilliwack oh, or sea something. World. No. no. Vancouver's got a Sea World, doesn't they? Pretty sure it's called Wonderland. Wonder World, I think, maybe. Maybe. I don't think I've ever been to that one, though. They got. It's like a gigantic arcade, lots of video games, and mini golf. That's all it is. Um. But they have this underwater pirate mini golf, and the lighting and the. It, I mean, this reminds me a lot of it. Oh, you can actually shoot those ones. I've been to like a big three-story arcade in Vancouver. Where, I don't know where it was. It's not in Vancouver. It's in like Chilliwack. Well, no, or but it was like in the area. It's it's honestly been like 10, 15 years since I've been to it. Yeah, no, same for me. I was probably 13, 12 when it went. I always remember it was like a three-story arcade had like uh, simulators and stuff. It's pretty cool. Honestly, I haven't been mini golfing in ages. I gotta try that again. Well, mini golfing is amazing. It is. Yeah. That's cool. Is that what? It's making me nauseous. That in the frame rate. What asset was? That? Oh, the maker toolkit. Yeah, probably. Uh. I am in love with the ambience of this place. I love the even the shooting. Like, I mean, it's kind of hard to actually get a decent score. So yeah, the frames we're getting, Eight, but eighteen like thousand. I feel like you. Yeah, could that's actually what, a good, get that's a why I'm saying. Score. Like, I hope this is a blueprint. Yeah. What is what is the uh, fake scores on this thing? Oh, I beat the fake scores. There you go. That's something. That's great. Really well done. Yeah, yeah I, I like that. I wasn't even playing and I like that. I mean, looking at his workshop, Galaxy spins on his workshop. Let's see what else is there. Kaleidoscope Fears. So it looks like some of these have actually been broken off and put onto his workshop. So follow the links down below if anything catches your eye. Oh, he's the one that also made the, the splash waves, the ones that we deleted. Oh. He made those and they are phenomenal, by the way. Like if you want to- like, like timed waves, you mean? Yes. Right. All, perfect for like your uh, beaches. Oh, you and stuff. know what? I've totally downloaded those before. He's the one who made them. Yeah, no, I swear. I think I've downloaded those. Wow. Before. Something. I don't know Fire, what. There Fire truly is 21 coasters on this pier. Okay, it's it's all starting to make sense to me now. 
<laughs> yeah, I don't know where some of these are coming from. Like when we were every look- corner you turn, there's another just incredibly themed ride. Like when we were zoomed out, this was not even apparent at all. No. Yeah, that's it's the closer insane. you get, the more you find, right? And that's yeah. the signs of a true builder. Mine Canyon Runner, let's go. We're probably gonna go on track view for this guy. These are truly ex- ex- I, exceptional yeah. experiences. I absolutely uh, loved it. Did you notice the little uh, security cameras? I did not notice security cameras, really? Yeah, just to like keep an eye on the guests and stuff. <clears throat> Tiger Shark. Everywhere you turn is another... It's like every time you get off a coaster, it's like, yeah, here's another one. Right? It's just non-stop. Holy moly. One thing I gotta say about that uh, mine train ride, though, like the way it uh you come around the corner and let you peek out at the rest of the park just a little bit and then right. you go back into the ride. It's kind of nice bringing that in and out in and out. Oh man. I'm not sure how to get onto this one. I saw some like welcoming signs and stuff, but I didn't quite uh, oh, here... mm. there we go. It's cool zone. zone. Get some drinks and stuff. I could have sworn it's it would have been It's got to be like right here. That's what I was to... thinking. But it's not. Oh! Right, right there. That's that's really oh, tiny. Shark. It is tiny. I mean, it's actually probably fairly normal size, but in the game, it's tiny. Looking. What's over to the right there? Oh, boy. Yes. So, we got the Tiger Shark here. Typhoon Barkhest. Here we go. Oh, max G-Force is 7.26. Oh, boy. Some pretty extreme ones on this park so far. But they're so fun, it's... You can't they really... Are. Yeah. yeah, I don't even care. They're just fun. I'm gonna go to the middle seat for this guy.
Woo. Awesome. Very cool. No, minus the forces and stuff, I can definitely appreciate the compact nature of that one. That was really nice. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh my God! How? What? Is... Oh, what? There's a freaking <laughs> castle. <laughs> it's it's exactly what we're just saying. Get off one, and there's bats in the. What's that say? Belfry. Belfry. Yeah. Belfry. 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 Never heard that word in my life. Like a food item. <laughs> oh, we got a spinning mouse. There we look go. Look at that. So it's the manic mouse. There's a look at all the stats. It is just one coaster after another. That one hurt a little bit on the FPS. Yeah. Oh, that There's a lot spinning. of spinning though and yeah. stuff. Yeah, that, that definitely helped. It's, it's, some, it's something to do with like the coaster just kind of like going straight that you don't see all that tearing as much, right? The, yeah. the choppiness. Um, so it definitely helps going on like uh, some of these standard coasters. Wow, the colors. Information. Look at that really. <laughs> Wow, Barracuda. Jeez, look at that sign. Right? It's got that a 3D pop to it. Yeah. Man, the colors are just astonishing. If you want to do He's doing that theme, thing that you said. Like, he's making the colors of the light gradient. play off of the track colors. Yes. In a gradient way that just complements it. Yeah, and, and that's that's kind of like um a trick that I've always used in color theory, like when I was in college and just doing Photoshop work and drawings and coloring with col crayons or uh, what are they called? Pastel. Pastels and also uh, pencil crayons. Um, oh yeah. What you do is you take like a dark purple and highlight it with like a lighter version, which is like a pink or, you know, a violet, right? Purple yeah. on violet. And you get these really cool things. Or you could do the opposite, warm highlights and cool shadows. And that, that really makes it pop. Or you use complementary colors. So you have like um, a purple track and then like yellow highlighting it. But the way you've done it here is you're keeping all the colors within the, the one corner of the color wheel spectrum. So we have uh, the purples, the blues, and then it's it's moving over into the warms just a little bit with the, the uh, tertiary purples and then even a little bit of that red. So you get that stark difference because you get the cool colors and then bam, warm. But then you kind of have everything in between those which is a beautiful blend. Truly remarkable stuff. Okay, so we got the Barracuda Looping Shuttle SLV. Let's jump on it.
That's crazy. Recording's already in an hour, <laughs> and we're probably only halfway through this. I'm actually gonna stop this recording and start a new one just, just to protect myself from the worst case scenario. But that is a phenomenal looking coaster. Love it. All right, we're on to a new recording. Uh, what's actually interesting is I didn't even notice this was orange. In the certain lighting that it is projected on it, it actually looks red to me. Yeah, it does look red. I thought it was red too. And that creates honest. even more of a gradient. I bet you this is actually blue and blue and orange are complementary colors. It's a, uh, it's kind yellow. of, it's no, it's a bit purpley. Purple oh no, and I'm sorry, I meant the supports are kind of like a yellow orange. Which yellow and purple are complementary, but pretty close in the spectrum. Still really great color choices. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I've, now that we've seen the nighttime lighting, I just have to do the whole park at night. So we have yeah. a hurricane. Jeez, I can't believe it. This episode's gonna be one of the world record coaster spot or park spotlights. So 21 here. roller coasters, clickbait. <laughs> it's not clickbait. It's not clickbait. Uh, let's go. There are 21 roller coasters. We might have deleted one or two at the beginning, but <laughs> there were at one point. Yep. Actually, I'm pretty sure there wasn't any at the beginning there, so. It's so compact and intertwined. I love that. I, I like the way you start at the top and work your way down. Yeah. It's really cool. Almost has that like wild mouse kind of layout. You know, you start at the top and work your way down, going closer and closer. It's very cool design on it. You know what, I'm, I don't know, I'm kind of looking around and a lot of the stuff like, it's another, like, well not a, just another, but another pier themed park but some of like a lot of this they have a, a big thing in seattle every year that's sort of similar to this i think yeah sort of like this big carnival that they have on and i know they have a lot of roller coasters and stuff that are quite similar to some of these yeah they're they're, they're very realistic in nature yeah e even if the stats are same that they're still really good well that's planko and yeah. honestly real or fun in planko is not generally realistic <laughs> right Boomerang really showcased some of the views on the theme park. Definitely did. All right, looks like we've uh, tackled another pier. <laughs> 
Time to move on to our final pier, and I'm sure it's going to be at least another half an hour worth of content there. We got I feel like there's a couple at the end here that we didn't look at. Possibly. Oh, we didn't see this one for sure. My, my computer Torpedo. just fell asleep. That's how long we've been doing this. <laughs> Torpedo. So it looks like there's another boomerang, but this one covers the entire pier. Let's look at all the stats if you guys want to see them. Is that a wooden coaster train? No, or it's the looping SLV again. It's just lap bars, though. That's why. I don't think, launched. You can, I can't think. You, I don't think you could swap those trains. Oh, you out. can. Okay. Okay. I like the uh, fact that you took the drive tire launch coaster and turned it into a boomerang. And what's interesting mm -hmm. about that, you actually never go up that lift until after. You notice how we started just, here and launched? It's just to catch? Yeah, it's to catch and slow you down, which yeah. it creates a, a, a unique boomerang experience than what we traditionally see in Planet Coaster. It changes it up and makes it a little bit more different to ride. Yeah, absolutely. For sure. So it looks galaxy spin. Looks like we have a, some sort of attraction in here, I would imagine, right? I'm gonna guess either a flat ride or some sort of spinning roller coaster. I think we could skip on this one. Yeah, I agree. We just went on two boomerangs. We, we definitely have to go on this. Yes, we do. A For second sure wooden do. coaster. Holy moly. Yeah. A ocean cyclone. Let's Jeez. do it. Jeez. What's incredible is like when we're looking at the park from a distance, we're like, okay, like it, it really is a different experience on foot, isn't it? It's completely different. I don't know what I was looking at it. I was like, yeah, we've seen parks this big, but I was like, I don't, I don't understand. But it's actually, there's so much more detail a, yeah. than, than what you expected from a bird's well, eye perspective. Well, is this yeah, well, even both of us during the cinematics, we were like, we deleted the parking lot and everything. Why is this still so slow? <laughs> yeah. Like, it looks like we've, like we've seen this, but once you're actually on foot, it becomes a little more apparent. Yes. Every time we turned around, there was like this epic, amazing ride that we didn't even notice. It's all about the micro details. Yeah. It's amazing. Thrasher coming back in. <laughs> the Thrasher. In that coaster, in the sign. I just. Oh. I said we keep saying how every it. time we get on a ride, there's just like this other incredible one just just adjacent to it, and I was like, oh look, the Thrasher. Um, but I was gonna say, 
about the um, amazing. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. That, oh that, shit. That's okay. this one. Yeah, I saw that sign coming background. I was like, oh my god, that looks amazing. Um, this park, I've had it on my reserve list for some time now. I didn't realize it was like a mega park and beyond mega park. Like this is, this might just be one of the most detailed parks we've ever seen, and it's definitely up there in the top five for sure. But I actually thought it was a micro park. <laughs> is that an arcade? Oh my god. Atomic Arcade. But yeah, I thought, like, me and Sickrolls were sitting down to do a few episodes, and, uh, like, alright, well, three hours later, looks like we're just doing this one. <laughs> but absolutely worth it, you know? It threw me for surprises all. I did not expect this much crammed into a pier? Are you kidding me? This is insane. Triple, but still. Triple beers. From, like, the screenshots when we were both looking at it, we're like, yeah, I'll plow through that in 45 minutes. <laughs> Here we are an hour later. What are we probably... Three hours later. 70% done? Three hours yeah. old. An hour into actual park exploring. Yeah. yeah, so we have another spinning coaster. Hopefully this one doesn't have a whole lot of custom images. So we did lose them. Do you have every coaster in the game in this park? Like, jeez. Might, yeah. I think my mic was muted for that little bit. Jeez. Was it really? Yeah. <laughs> Whoops. Whoops, it's not muted now though, is it? No. Mine isn't either. That's fine. Yeah. Well, I can say what I was saying while I was going up this lift. Actually, no, if I didn't mute it and I'm wrong, then I don't know, then I'll just say it twice. Well, if That's there was- That's kind of funny then. <laughs> <laughs> all, all I was saying is there's back-to-back -back coasters and you almost don't have to put timestamps for each of the rides because you get off one and go on to another, but hopefully that yes. didn't get muted. Um, either way, it's a small segment. Here we go, guys. All the roller coasters. love that that was i loved so it far, too. i think one of my favorite coasters well, definitely one of my favorites so far yeah 
I, I'm usually I'm pretty good at checking if my mic's muted or not, but I haven't used to like mute unmute 21 times in a single episode. Yeah, I know for sure. I'm actually kind of like autopilot now and losing well, my I mind. I stopped muting myself, so <laughs> if I'm sneezing or whatever. So yeah, that's why. Look at that, we got a slingshot. Yeah. Can we ride that? I know we're at like way too long of a recording, but. No, you can't ride these though. What are you talking about? Wait, what? Oh, that's not an actual ride in the game? No. That oh, it isn't freaking RCT3. These little. <laughs> wow, okay. That, the that's Bermuda, how much I thought that was real. The Bermuda Triangle, and look at this flat ride, which is also on his workshop. That is stunning. Wipeout. It's like his entire workshop is dedicated to this pier. Skyjet. Jeez, there's I so many it. coasters. It's insane. And what's at the end here? Like, look at what's... How is there... <gasps> is this dueling? Oh, wait. No. There's a ride in here. Oh. Trip, the, oh, the three rides Triple sky in launches. Oh, jeez. That's... Oh. And then the coaster goes around it. But which one That's of these crazy. cues is for the coaster? There's well, I think th all three are... I think all three are for the triangle. And then the coaster is something different. Right. Where's that coaster entrance then? Oh, you know what? <clears throat> I think you get on back here. Oh. Yes. Sense, yep. Wow, that coaster really goes a ways in. The Wave Runner. Phenomenal. <laughs> Look at the queue. I, <laughs> I would totally go to this park in real life and oh, ride it, everything. It, it this would, is amazing. It would be uh, one of the best parks out there. It's I mean, like this, a three-day freaking is... adventure coming here. Yeah. yeah, you would spend a day on each pier, for sure. Yeah. I mean, I don't even think you would be able to get it all done in a day. All right, let's go. Where's the next place you want to go after getting off of the <laughs> Well, Midnight Manor's right in front of us, but you know yeah, what? Yeah, that's exactly where I wanted to go. Uh, you, we're going to have to... <laughs> Guess what spotlight I featured this in? Oh! Episode 43. Throw and it literally, one, it literally says, From Kaleidoscope Piers in the title two years ago. What that was the, the other one that I was talking about was from... This one was from, what, episode 60 or something. Yeah. So, you actually get to see, like, we got to see a few of these early while he's been working on this for the last two years. And it's just crazy to think that episodes 40 and 60 are in 
something that we're looking at is which this is episode 180 of park spotlight or something um is just truly remarkable it just it's like a chunk of history we're fast forwarding in time i remember when i opened this up and how green i was to youtube and how new i was to everything and it just kind of brings back memories it's crazy so yeah if you want to see that just type in uh, midnight manor on my channel and you can watch the full the full episode in 60 fps great little eating area what park sucks. spotlight are we on? 700 and something. Ah, we just missed the 700. Who we, oh, we just did that one. Yeah, I did. Yeah, we did. You were there. Yeah, I was there. <laughs> Not to take away from the other person that we... Candidate. You're, you're cutting in and out. The other candidate was featured for 600. Right. So, I wonder what we're going to do for 1,000. I almost feel like we need to do like a... Like a best retirement, of. retirement party. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, retirement party. A thousand episodes of anything. Has anyone That's insane? Has anyone like other than Joe Rogan, you know, with his podcasts, has anyone done a series a, a thousand of the same game? I mean, Joe Rogan's is a podcast, so it's it's not even but relatable. A, a thousand episodes of one thing. Uh, Dr Dragon Ball Z? A, a video game. You've seen a thousand episode series of a Dragon Ball Z? I'm trying to think out how many. They have a lot of episodes. I'm trying to think. I don't think it's a thousand. No, though. but I'm talking about like a YouTube series of the one game. I'm just trying to think a series in general and I can... Yeah, but that's... You just, oh, I'm comparing you to <laughs> Thanks. Everything. That's a pretty good thing as far as like that many episodes goes. All right. Okay, let's go. Googly moogly. That was, was sweet. It was that the way the fog renders, or was it triggered to disappear as we were getting closer to it? Uh, I've seen that before, so. It almost felt like we we're chasing it. Like it kind of clears as you go into it. Yeah. Either way, that gave off a really cool effect. That's a yeah. great dark ride. Now, unfortunately, I think <clears> some <throat> of this stuff has custom music, which we didn't get, which would make the experience a little bit different, but we can't, like, if, yeah, the copyright claims and all that. Yeah, you guys know the YouTube policies. Yeah. Maybe one day they'll let us use copywritten music and for a percentage, you know? I wouldn't mind it then. But, yeah. you know, to, to, if you put in like a 30 second song into a 20 minute video that you did all the work in, they'll take 100%. Like, how about, how about you take like, what, 2%? <laughs> Whatever portion? Yeah. Like, you didn't even do the visuals. Come on. <laughs> Is that the end of the pier? Did we make it? I don't think we. I feel like we missed one. We went on the hammerhead, right? I think there's yeah, some that stuff was the one the we really liked here that we didn't go on. That was the manor. Oh no, that's it. Good googly moogly, ladies and gentlemen. Let's control Z this and get those three coasters back. 
So tw 21 coasters, but mind you, these are 21 of the most top-notch coasters we've seen, and not one of them felt poorly designed. They're all just top, top-notch stuff. Um, and look at that nighttime lighting. That ground experience is truly phenomenal. And that's what we were saying, like, when we, we, I mean, all that stuff in the back as well. I mean, that we took a look at that briefly in the beginning, and that was phenomenal. But we were looking at it like this, right? Yeah. And when you see the coasters at such a micro scale, you're like, it doesn't look like 21. And you're just like, okay, like... This doesn't. Why is it running yeah, so? Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Like I, I see a few there for sure, but <laughs> yeah. But the the closer you get, the more you start to notice. But it just seems like there's three piers with some coasters on it, and I've seen yeah. pier designs in the past. There was um, Pleasure Pier and Funland Pier, and then Sunshine Boardwalk, and all of them had been very short in design. So, looking at this, I it kind of gives off the illusion that it'll be a quick spotlight right but when you're on that ground level it just completely changes and what an experience hats off to you fisherman rct one of the greatest creators in this community legend absolute legend and the two years you spent on this absolutely shows we, we, we talked and we griped about the FPS. We caught it down by removing some of those things and we got it tolerable, which I think did make the difference because... You know what? I, I By the time we were on like our second roller coaster, I didn't care anymore. I was having so much fun, so... Exactly, but before we tried doing the episode with all the stuff in it and with all the custom files and stuff, it, it was probably the worst coaster rides I've ever seen. In, yeah. Uh, it was it was a slideshow. It was not presentable, and I was like, how are we going to do this? How are we going to feature this? Because people will not tolerate this, and it's unfortunate, right? Because there's nothing I could do. I can't buy a more expensive computer. It's impossible. And honestly, it's not enjoyable for anybody to have to sit through here through a choppy PowerPoint presentation. Ride. It's like we're trying to enjoy it too and everybody oh, we want everybody the person who created to be able to enjoy other people enjoying it yes it's about enjoyment all around right so we want to try and present it the best way but possible. we also want fisherman to get the recognition and the proper spotlight yes. that he deserves without completely sabotaging everything that he's done and, and i think we did that as good as we could have here for sure yeah we didn't want to do it a disservice hey man the experience like we didn't delete anything on the peers themselves and that's nope. that's what the experience was and you did such a good job with custom everything and theming i think a lot of people should study this and use this as a bench mark of i mean you don't have to go this big but just looking at this kind of sea seaside area with the bermuda triangle a themed flat ride beautiful signage with a really cool custom wipeout ride in between then you got this sky jet coaster which we did not go on but i think we could skip on this one yeah i'm already that giving the outro a, that looks like it's similar to that blue one that we yeah it looks like it's almost like all right hand turds as well yeah but uh but then you get back here and then you got the uh, wave runner which is funny this is like the only one that didn't have a custom side <laughs> but <laughs> we see all that custom area all leading up to it this is all part of it in in some way um yeah so it just the the, the lighting i think uh this some is some of the best lighting that i've ever seen you know i've tried yeah, to... the lighting was really nice just the way you played off the different colors on the track and everything it was creating great. gradients and yep. uh complementary colors and uh, i think we noticed it on this coaster the most <laughs> Yeah, and I, I try I, I try to this. give people lighting tips and stuff throughout the videos, and it's hard to say, and it's easier to show. And I think this says it the best, right? Because um, lighting can really sell a theme. And as you can see from this vintage coaster, look at the lighting, what it says. Um, it's almost like a golden ballroom in here, and it's, it's so stunning. And while it is bright, it, it works and then all that vintage lighting around the outside the spotlights lighting up the coaster and look how much different that that a vibe that gives even the purple shadows on top of the rooftop there to complement the yellow colors but then when we move over to say this coaster it's a different feel it's a different design and that's what color can really say a lot about a creation and I think that's something to take note on, or this Bermuda Triangle one with the, uh, or Barracuda, sorry, with the purples, oranges, and then the way they come together and how it looks at nighttime compared to how it looks during the day. It's it's almost as if it transforms. You would actually take a second look at this and be like, I didn't ride that coaster yet because the theming feels different now. Yeah, 
Definitely. And that, that is like a true sign of good lighting. So, I mean, what more can you say about this? If you guys have anything to add, feel free to drop your comments down below for Fisherman. Be sure to uh, follow the link to his workshop and give this a rating. Links will be down in the description below. And uh, thank you for spending two years to create this wonderful creation so that we could all experience it. Uh, what a pleasure indeed, Fisherman RCT absolutely wonderful yeah this this park was honestly probably one of the best parks i've visited in quite some time this absolutely. is like in its own right like not to not to like paddle you off between mkp or nothing but in its own way this is one of the best parks i've ever seen i have a handful of fan uh i have a handful yeah. of favorites i was just gushing and freaking out about the never ending story park which i absolutely love but it's in its own completely different category yeah. in in the in that that it's fantasy and very yeah. whimsical and and it's uh kind of the same with mkp it's mkp is a little more realism but it's still kind of got the fantasy like standard theme park thing but going this, where this, this feels like something you would see in real life especially with yeah. all that city and parking lot stuff this this is comes to the closest to creative realism that we've ever yeah. seen you, you get For the sure. creative realism award from us here today because we've never seen anything this creative out of your head that's not a recreation but 100 percent just gushing creativity and you did it in such a way that it's uh realistically believable so i mean yeah hats off what more can you say i think we've said Brilliant. it all and with yeah. that uh we're gonna end it off the episode here so if you guys enjoy please be sure to hit the like button share it with your friends let's get some more viewers on this and more ratings on his creation and uh thank you guys so much for watching be sure to subscribe for more daily planet coaster videos and we will see you in the next video bye now bye now